Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Caesar Sam. So today I'm going to teach you a chapter in science. The name of the chapter is Classification of Living Things. So, before we start, can we touch up on the difference between living things and non-living things? Could you tell me the basic difference about living things and non-living things? All right. So generally, there are a few things that can differentiate between live, uh, can differentiate living things from non-living things, and the difference and the differences are living things can move from one place to another, but non-living things cannot move without help. Second, living things can grow. Non-living things do not grow. All right. Living things need all the basic necessities to live, like breathing, eating, yes. So these are the things. They need food, they need oxygen to live. All right. So these are some of the very basic differences between living things and non-living things. So now let's discuss what are the differences, different types of living things. Okay, so we can generally classify living things into three main groups, all right? So, animals, Plants So the two main types of living things are generally animals and plants But we will also discuss the third type later on in the chapter Okay, speaking about the difference between animals and plants So First of all the most important difference when we talk about plants Plants are known as autotrophs. What are plants known as? Autotrophs. Can you spell autotroph? A U T O T R O P H S. Autotrophs. Autotrophs. So obviously, the difference. Uh, between plants and animals is that plants can make their own food. So they are known as autotrophs. And animals, they need to consume other living things because they cannot prepare their own food. So they are known as heterotrophs. Can you spell with me? Heterotrophs. H-E-T-R-O-T-R-O-P-H-S. Heterotrophs. Okay. So, as we have discussed, the first difference between animals and plants are plants can make their own food with the help of sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Animals, on the other hand, they cannot prepare their own food. And in order to survive, they need to consume other living things, example plants or other animals as well, right? So, plants are known as autotrophs, animals are known as heterotrophs. So, how do plants, now you might have this question in your mind, you know, like making food by all by itself, that's amazing, right? We as humans, we cannot do that, yes? So, how do plants exactly make food for themselves? Plants use chlorophyll, that is a pigment in the leaves. You see, generally, the color of the leaves are green, right? It's because of the presence of the of chlorophyll in the leaves. Okay, it's a pigment that looks green in color. Yes, and they need sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to prepare food, right? So this whole method of preparing food that the plants use 
is known as photosynthesis. What is it known as? Photosynthesis. P H O T O S Y N T H E S I S. Photosynthesis. And so you know now how plants make their food. Now let's talk about animals. What are the different ways animals make their own food? So animals can be classified into three types. Number one, herbivores. What are herbivores? Herbivores are animals that consume plants. Yes. And second are carnivores. Now carnivores are animals that consume animals. Example, tigers, leopards, right? And the third type of animals are known as omnivores. Example, us, human beings, we are a type of omnivorous animals. Why are we known as omnivores? Like beer is another example because we consume both plants and animals for our food. So these are the main types of difference when you classify living things. I hope you like the class today and I would love it if you revise this when you go back to your home. Thank you so much. You have a very good day. Thank you.